Yeah, there's uh, quite a few changes, but it's still a very familiar look to the, to the side. It's uh, your rotation of the, of the autumn. Kind of, uh, always planned that it would be like this. Oh, it was planned it was going to be rotation and uh, given players opportunities during this, this period, but also managing the uh, the physical condition of our players. So things things evolved during a, a campaign. Players that were in our squad originally, um, they get injured. Obviously, we have to look at different combinations. There's a couple of players, Lee Jones and Matt Fagerson, have picked up um, knocks during the campaign. And form as well is is um, something that that changes. Uh, that you want to give players other opportunities because they've they've deserved it. Um, but yeah, well, that's how we get to the, the selection. It doesn't feel like there's nine or ten changes. It feels like uh, it's a squad that um, has been working with us over the last four and five weeks, uh, and they're, they're pretty much up to speed in how we play, how we want to play. Did you always have the Hastings and Russell ten twelve? penciled in for this one or is that something that has evolved in your mind over the, 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 kind of the, the, the few minutes that they have had together it's evolved more because of circumstances with other players so Sam Johnson uh, was in the squad Matt Scott uh, was in the squad so there's two players that can play 12 um, that, are, that would have got opportunities uh, Peter Horn has ended up being involved in all three games Alex Nambar now involved in, in his third game uh, and we believe Given that the, um, that we have had injuries, and given that Finn and Adam have combined well in their 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 games they've played, and also our, our focus for this week, um, we we believe it's a, a good time to to see how they go against Argentina. Is it quite an exciting prospect to, to see them go from the start together for Scotland? I'm I'm always excited with any team that that gets gets selected. Uh, I believe it'll be um, uh, an exciting prospect for Adam to start for uh, for Scotland in his first game at BT Murrayfield. To have two strong communicators either side of him, so someone that plays regularly at ten uh, on his shoulder, uh, someone has played a lot of matches for for Scotland and captained Scotland on a number of occasions inside him. Um, I believe he'll be excited about a big in that opportunity, but also he can share their the um, the decision making with those around him more. Control's been a big sort of talking point through this series in terms of guys in the back and when to, to sort of play more flamboyant stuff that we're capable of and when to take the most sort of steady approach. With the individual talents you've got in this this back line, it looks like there's plenty of scope for the more flamboyant aspects of it. How, how much of it is going to be the guys showing a level of restraint and picking and choosing when to play? Yeah, that, that, that's a part of it. I think if we if we're not putting into place um, either what we uh, we want to do with our game or the defence is, is stopping us playing, then we've got to look at different strategies to, to put pressure on the opposition. Uh, our fundamental game will always be um, working the opposition, playing at speed, but there's other ways to, to put the, the opposition under pressure. And obviously the kicking game is part of that, when and where to kick. And why we're kicking is, is important. And these are things that we've learned... Um, down in Cardiff and and last week, so we'd we'd like to believe that we're a better team going into this week's game with that in mind. Well, our game is also based on work rate from from a backline perspective. What really excited us about Adam going into the Wales game was the work rate that he's shown for Glasgow uh, and his his games in the summer for Scotland. Uh, we're looking for the same from Finn in a different role this week, so he's going to have to work really hard. Uh, in defence as well as attack but that means we've got two two players um, that are normally get, normally get on the ball 20 to 30 times in a game so I would like to to think that they'll be getting a lot of touches in the game the work rate of Stuart Hogg was outstanding at the weekend, the work rate of Hugh Jones to get on ball was outstanding so those attributes and those behaviours define what we do as a back line um, the parts after it um, yeah, they're they're great because we've got players a lot with a lot of skill, and it sometimes leads to to great tries like the one we saw at the weekend. But from that from that great try um, that Peter Horn scored, I was I was more impressed with the support lines of of Greg Laidlaw on the inside. He could have got this try scoring pass. Hugh Jones who got back on the ball for a second time, 
and Peter Horn, um, who got tackled, was put in the ground, got back on his feet and ended up scoring the try. Those those are the the elements that drive our great our game. When you you talk about the changes that Finn might have to make to his game, do you, do you expect to see a different type of performance from him? Well, it'll be different because he's playing a different position. So he's he's obviously got to defend um, differently. He's got to carry ball um, as second receiver. We obviously we want him getting as many touches as first receiver as, as he can. Um, but we should see other aspects of the ga- of his game, which are strong points of his game, his carrying game. Uh, that we didn't didn't get to see last week or don't get to see enough when he's playing 10. Finn, uh, Finn is a strong ball carrier. Uh, he's hard to put down. He's got a good offloading game. He's got a good awareness of of defences to, to pick the right running lines. Uh, last week, we would have liked to have seen more from him uh, as a ball carrier, as a 10. Now, a lot of that was to do with the defence we're up against who, um, who were very strong in that area. But... He should certainly get opportunities to carry this week. Yeah, what was, what was Finn's reaction when you told him you're he's starting at twelve? Seemed okay, yeah. Hopefully. Yeah, he look. I think he's he's he's, a, he, he's enjoyed uh, the parts of the game where well, him and Adam have, have played together. Uh, he seemed okay, yeah. Um, in terms of Josh Strauss, have you reassessed him since? Fiji? Yeah, of course, of course. Fiji was a lot. Do you mean Fiji? In Suva or Fiji and Murray? Yeah, yeah. So we 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 obviously know that uh, you all know that Josh did, had hadn't played um, since that game in Fiji, but he'd been in a, the Six Nations training squad. We'd watched him closely. Other players had came through and grabbed their opportunities, like uh, like Dave Denton during the Six Nations uh, and and in the summer tour. But uh, we we believe Josh has has got um, the focused right to to play well um, he's got himself in, f- in really good physical condition um, he's really keen to play for Scotland the way he um, impacted the game against Fiji in the first half he came on as well which was uh, probably not what uh, he was expecting he got in the game really quickly now he's got a, an opportunity to start to show that he should be starting number 8 for us when we play Italy in a, in a few months time you've, you've seen obviously you've seen a, a lot of the in November international. Where where would you place Scotland Scotland now in in the overall picture of, of world right now? Well, the, the rankings are, are a, a marker for that. We we were six going at the weekend playing the the fifth best team and and we we lost to them. So there's it's it's pretty competitive in the, in the top ten, very competitive in the top two just now. But the other countries are having very close games. England um, managed to beat. Uh, South Africa by a point. South Africa then went to France, beat them. They beat us. Uh, it's it's great that we're all playing each other and getting very competitive games. But we we know that we we set out to to do better to, to win our games, um, and we've not we didn't do that last week. Uh, and we'd we're, we're we're working hard to do that this week. I mean, how, how do you balance? You know, trying new combinations with Finn at twelve and Adam at ten. And the need to win this game. I mean, is there a is there an element of, of risk of gambling? Here? Every every selection has has an unknown quality about it because the the names are on paper. We, we they don't play yet, but every selection is about putting a team out there that we believe puts us the best chance of winning. If if this was a Six Nations game, it might not have been um, the selection we we put out there. Um, but if they go well, it could be the selection we put out there in the Six Nations game. November does give us opportunity to to look at different things, but we're looking at different things because we believe they'll work. They'll either work for our next game, for this game coming up, they'll lead us on to, to continuing with the same selection, or we, we see players that are putting their hands up for the World Cup and putting combinations together that might occur during the World Cup. We... Uh, we we also have four games in a row, and that is a huge physical demand on our players. So that's another reason why the the team has changed more than it, it will likely happen in in the Six Nations. Okay. In the summer, in the summer, you said you had done multiple um, versions of the thirty-one man squad uh, for the World Cup. Are you, are you, are you still, still happening? Yeah. Still happening. Yeah. What version are you up to now? I don't know, but uh, look, there, there's players that have really impressed us over this period, this campaign, um, and they're 
that pencil line is getting darker around there, them, but um, there's a lot of rugby to be played and there's no way we can go into our Summer World Cup camp th- thinking this is a 31. Uh, it'll be Six Nations players can play themselves into it, but we've also got our training, we've got four test matches before we go out there, but a lot of players have put up their hands on this <coughs> these last four four games. Okay, thanks for watching.